Guys, it's Rayborn. I bought this thin client, and before buying it, actually, I referred YouTube and didn't get anything there about uh, a thin client and how am I going to interact with it, the interface and all. So after buying it, I thought it will be useful just to uh, upload a YouTube video about it and how the thing is to let you guys know if in the future you want to buy. Uh, thin client. So this is HP thin client, and here's the configuration. It has a Windows Embedded Standard 7 with Service Pack 1, Intel Atom processor, 1.66 gigahertz, two of them, and 2 GB um, DDR3 RAM. It's a 32 bit operating system, and yeah, we have certain changes in uh, an embedded operating system and with a thin client compared to a PC. So first of all let's see what file system we have here and neglect the removable storage. The only space available to you is 4 gigabyte nothing else. And if you want more space you have to take memory from your RAM yes RAM drive is actually a drive made out of your RAM the random access memory available in this case 2 GB it's actually a part in RAM where the system is storing files and creating an illusion that it's a hard disk drive so here I have actually it was 31 MB uh, RAM drive I extended it to 100 MB I guess I can obviously exploit that much from 2 GB of RAM the hard disk space available to me is 4 GB and after the installation of the uh, Windows uh, Embedded Standard 7 Edition I had 1.26 GB of free space this drive E is actually a virtual drive created out of my pen drive so ignore that C and Z are the only drives which will be available the limitation to a thin client and a Windows embedded operating system will be that on next restart whatever changes you make in the operating system disappear nothing remains now if you make a change for example if I um, created a file and I wanted to save that then I will actually need to right click here and click on commit EWF that means that I'm going to commit these changes made in the file system and the operating system as well and its settings whatever it be and those changes get saved in the C drive okay now apart from that what do we have in control panel sorry about my voice I had a surgery okay <clears throat> it's exactly very similar to uh, Windows Ultimate Edition now uh, I'll tell you something when you when I bought this HP thin client um, I had two users uh, account one was administrator and the other was um, user itself whatever restrictions you want to create you can actually create inside the users account this one it's where actually people are the uh, embedded operating system is designed to keep limitations by limitations I mean that there are restrictions in the user at a uh, account you, you cannot insert uh, pen drives are undetected a lot of other things are there which actually can be removed by accessing tools provided by Hewlett Packard uh, software so that was about accounts now coming to memory footprint an embedded operating system is fast really fast it has brought down the memory footprint 
it will have in RAM, CPU, HDD, wherever possible. So this makes embedded operating system extremely good where you prefer portability. Now talking about the software available or something related to multimedia it will be Windows Media Player. Yeah it's, uh, it's available and it works just fine in embedded sound. Okay, now I want to talk about installing an operating system into a thin client. I'll take the properties. Now, since it's an embedded operating system and it's a thin client here, what I'm using to install an operating system other than an, uh, the one that's already installed. I will probably need to use my pen drive as the drive from which I'm going to install obviously so that's the tool available the tool is unit booten and all you have to do is just select your image of the operating system and load it here by browsing and format your pen drive click OK and it makes your pen drive a bootable installation disk and from that you can install into an HP thin client my personal experience with this thin client was like this at first <coughs> I wasn't comfortable with Windows standard I removed everything and then I installed Linux Ubuntu after that I found that I was having trouble connecting with my network so I installed XP then find drivers for the network finally I decided to stay up with em embedded standard edition because it detects all the hardware and the drivers required and is fast Okay, let's see what's going on in Task Manager. There are s processes running. There are services running. Performance. Okay. Right now it's recording, so take off the CPU part because it uses very low CPU. Here, 0 0.97 gigabyte of RAM is being used. 100 MB of which is actually used in RAM drive, obviously and let's check out the graphical and audio property there it is voila I'm running a thin client it has 2 GB of RAM and in display I have 798 MB of graphic memory that will do sound is alright okay the last thing I want to talk about is network connectivity and um, something related to web browsing experience it's fast internet is alright and especially downloading is good cause since it's a uh, you can extend your RAM drive here and you can download things directly into your RAM drive since a RAM drive works at a speed of nanoseconds you can download fastly and remember there is no Adobe Flash in Embedded 7 so you'll need to do that and thin clients usually don't come up with operating system that support Flash so you'll need that so I guess that's it bye from Rayborn take care guys